Welcome to Talk About Topeka Live, coming to you from the Topeka Performing Arts Center for our Connecting the Arts segment with Larry Goronsky, the, the Executive Director of the Topeka Performing Arts Center. I'm your host, Chris Schultz, and this episode is brought to you by EverythingTopeka.com. Larry, how you doing? I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm doing great. Thanks All for right. being here with us, of course. Uh, okay. There's so many things. and Welcome and home. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> We're here. Uh, glad to be able to partner with TPAC to be able to bring this community programming, positive community programming. That's exactly Topeka. what, it, since the first episode, uh, I've watched every, every one, uh, Topeka Positive, and people who are not a part of it either don't get it or probably shouldn't be, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Get on, get on the train. It's good. It is good. There's so many good things happening. Uh, and of course, we're here to talk a little bit about some of the things, the good things happening at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. Thank you. Uh, it's a very cool. Um, the first one I want to jump right into, uh, Illusionist Rick Thomas. It's the next fundraiser that TPAC's doing yes. on November 3rd. Uh, tell us a little bit about this guy. Well, the setup for, for Rick Thomas is that uh, we had such a successful one night show of The Illusionist back in February mm -hmm. uh, that we wanted to do something that proliferated that. Rick Thomas had toured in The Illusionist, I don't know, it was 1907, mm -hmm. 1901. They had a turner of the century edition. Right. Yeah, it, it wasn't he, actually, he's, he's not, not that, that old. old. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they, he they said, made I one toured. Turn this. of the century, yeah. Right. And, uh, and so we said, this is perfect. Uh, our board got, on, uh, got on, on it, and that's our next fundraiser. He's uh, incredible, and he's, he's a regular performer in Branson. Right. Uh, and to see a show, uh, one, I've, I'm a big magic nerd myself. I've seen a lot of magic shows, and seeing his show, it's... Yeah. When you elite. think of the Houdinis, and then the, you know, the David Copperfields, the Curtis Sneedens of the Absolutely. world. Absolutely, yeah. You know, <laughs> he, um, he's one of them, and he's, he had residency in Las Vegas for so many years, and he still travels around the world, but he decided to make Branson his home, and being only four, four and a half hours away, mm -hmm. it just works out so well. And uh, he's looking forward to it. I know that uh, we are so in need of magic in our lives. And I know that you, Curtis, and several other of the illusionists and magicians in our area are going to be a part of his show in setting it up because there is a magician's code. I don't want to be a part of it. I want to be entertained like everybody else. But there's a way of how they do that. I just don't know how they do it. The code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start, for anyone who's interested. So. I hope you put that in a hashtag, then you're, you're all set. <laughs> no, Rick Thomas is a great show. Tickets are just $29 you know, and up. But for $29, everybody in the family can see a show that's Broadway style. A an incredible guy. Yeah. And how many things are family, truly family entertainment? Mm -hmm. uh, I know that in, uh, in this evening of taping, uh, I talked with Braille, uh, Braille Watson, mm -hmm. and uh, he's coming to the show now with his two children, his wife and two children. So it's like more of the family, like connecting the arts, which is that's right. what we, uh, we want to do at TPAC. We all could use a little magic in our lives, that's for sure. Amen. And so we're bringing it to town, November yeah. 3rd. Get, check this guy out, I mean, and working with him. It's so cool to, I, I watched him as a kid growing up on, uh, they would always do an, a yearly uh, show on NBC at right. Thanksgiving time, Thanksgiving Eve, and he was on that show so many times. And I just remember as a little kid being affected by these incredible entertainers, and Rick Thomas is one of them. Now we get to work with him. I got a cell phone number. It's like you get to pick up, pick Who's up the phone. Who's more excited and, now? Yeah, you, I get to pick up the phone and call it, and he gets to say, who is this and stop calling me, it's great. <laughs> exactly. so. and block your That's number, right. yeah. put you on the do not call list. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's already got the hotline for the Topeka Police Department, so he knows exactly, <laughs> exactly. how to find you. Exactly. It's, Get uh... rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> and another opportunity to make some magic here, uh, Noel the Musical. This is a very exciting uh, it's great. bit of... It's a new musical. Yeah. Uh, it was written by several men in Wexford, Ireland. Uh, long story short, the executive director, the CEO of Venue Works Theatricals, which is another division of the company that I work for, uh, created this musical. Uh, Owen Colfer, who is a world-renowned uh, children, or author, who's written the Artemis Fowl children's series, uh, wrote the, the book. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And uh, Liam Bates, who's the international, the leading composer in Ireland, put this together, and Noel is a little girl. And the tagline is Noel, the girl who saved Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And the story, without giving anything away, is that Noel is in this musical, and she's all excited to be singing the lead song, and her mom's going to be putting the costumes together for it. Well, several days before the, the show, her mom comes up missing. And she lives, this is modern day London, and uh, it's just her and her mom. She doesn't want to go into the system, so she goes out on the street looking for her mom, and she meets a motley group of characters, including, and not giving this away as well, uh, she meets a guy named Nick, who he turns out is Santa Claus, who's given up on Christmas five years earlier because it's too commercial, you know, people are just not getting the real idea of it, and uh, together they rediscover the magic of Christmas. Yeah. The music is outstanding, it'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, and, and it's, per, it's performing one night only on November 29th here. It's one of 20 uh, dates in 2018, and the hopes is that it will be in, on Broadway in 2020, but you'll have seen it here first if you get your tickets, and they start at just $29 as well. That's right, so that's November 29th. And we're casting three locals. That's even cooler, right? And you look at it, and the, the cast recordings, you know, we had uh, uh, Steve Peters, the president and founder of VenueWorks, was actually on our show. He came to Topeka and right. spent some time with us here. Uh, so you can find that uh, interview if you want to look up more on uh, gablocal.tv and right. talk about Topeka's page. But uh, you know, this is a big thing. This is a, this is a new tour. We're getting to see it before a lot of the other bigger right. cities see it. Uh, so I really do encourage you to get out and, and see this, you know, be a part of something. This is uh, it, the original cast recording. You know, the original you cast that, recording, uh, the, the girl who is the, not the girl, but Noelle, but the, uh, the adult female is playing Elphaba uh, in Wicked on Broadway right now. Mm -hmm. And the male lead uh, is playing Scar in The Lion King on Broadway now. So exactly. tremendous stuff. And the three locals that'll be cast will have a chance to work with a touring uh, pro cast. And it's, it's just great. When, when you talk about the segment being connecting the art, this really is one of those things that'll manifest it. Yeah, and, and for those guys, it's not a huge commitment to their time. It really is giving a Learn local the music. the opportunity to see right. know, what, this, what this is like to be a touring actor and to spend a day with them right. and to, to really understand. Maybe, uh, maybe somebody out there is thinking, I want to be a touring actor one day. Right. What better way? to do that than to have an opportunity. So I've got to say thanks to uh, VenueWorks and, and Noel for allowing it. That's a program that's actually starting here in Topeka right. as a pilot program. It is. To try that. So. And all of our events, you know, the ones that we can't talk about because of time restrictions, just go to topekaperformingarts.org uh, slash events, and you'll see all the listing from uh, things in early October till next February and, and even more. But that's as much as we're revealing at this point. That's it. So folks, check it out. Go to topekaperformingarts.org. Make sure you see Rick Thomas on November 3rd uh, and see more magic uh, with Noel the Musical on November 29th. Again, topekaperformingarts.org. TPAC ticks on Facebook. Check it all out. Make sure you like it. Make sure you follow it. Share the message. Come down and see us to make the magic of the holidays stay alive. And of course, we want to thank EverythingTopeka.com uh, for sponsoring this segment. Uh, EverythingTopeka.com has you covered with the most comprehensive list of things going on in the city. So check out that website. And thank you so much for coming thank by, you. Larry. Really do appreciate, appreciate all the hard work it. you guys Thanks put again. in over at TPAC. <laughs>